Hello and welcome to the Posh Travel Blog. I'm Christina. And I'm Stuart. And uh, we've just returned from a wonderful cruise in uh, the Far East on board uh, Seaborn, uh, Seaborn Encore um, ship. Amazing. 28-day um, Asian itinerary. Including um, the Philippines. Um, yeah, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam. Been fabulous, absolutely wonderful. Um, so we're here to share with you our experiences of the ship. Um, we have already put a couple of um, uh, videos on our YouTube channel of the cabin categories that we stayed in. We've been in a balcony suite and we've also been in the uh, penthouse suite. Um, so they're on there if you, if you take a look. And um, we're not covering the ports today. This is just going to be an overview of, of the ship. Yes. So yeah. uh, over um, to you. <clears throat> yeah, the ports um, we've actually got on our Instagram page, the Posh Travel Blog, and um, we've posted up everywhere we've been. There's a highlight on there and a, a reel. So you can actually see all the different places. If you're going to do the same itinerary, <clears throat> then you can um, have a look at our yeah. Instagram page. Yeah, and... follow us on Facebook and Instagram because it, it, it's some really useful tips on there. So yeah. that would be, yeah. be great. But it was amazing, followers. really amazing. Um, but these, the Seaborn Encore, um, they've got two Encores, uh, Encore class ships, uh, the Encore and the Ovation. Ovation, which we have been on as well. And um, then they've also got three smaller ships, and we have been lucky to travel on most, of, or if not all of them, actually. We've been travelling with them for 10 years now, haven't we? So 10 it, years. It's all, honestly, it's just wonderful. It's like home from home when you, when you step aboard. We love it. Seaboard we absolutely service. love it. And we're actually, yeah. um, well, we're platinum members, but we're about to move to diamond status, so we get quite a few benefits, but we'll go over that a bit later. Um, so, but the ship size is lovely. It's only about 40,000 tonnes. Um, there's 300 cabins and uh, 600 guests if the ship's full. Um, on our voyage, the first one was full, um, but the second one only had about 350 people on it, so we had it all to ourselves. Bearing in mind, 450 <coughs> crew as well, so we were kind of getting one-to-one -one service. It was, it was just fabulous, really lovely. Yeah, it's a relatively new ship. It was constructed at the end of 2016 was when it first came into service. And uh, basically, they brought in a slightly larger vessel compared to the Odyssey, um, the Quest, and the Sojourn, which we, we do enjoy the smaller ones too. But this one's it's got a larger Keller grill, um, and it's got a sushi restaurant. So just a bit more room, a few more cabins, and uh, a few more um, decks, highlights, yeah. really. So. Yeah. And it is one of the best luxury cruise lines in the world. So um, We love it. We've traveled on many, many cruise lines. Um, Unfortunately, we didn't do YouTube in time because we've been traveling for years and years. We used to own a travel company. We could have had about a thousand videos on there. Um, so we only started recently. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think travel agency is in our blood, isn't it? It's what we do. And oh, yeah, we're lovely we love to share it. our experiences with you. But Seaborn yeah. is a really fabulous product. Um, this video, um, we're going to compare it to previous cruises because certain things have changed. Um, but it's still amazing. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, we'll start with the food. Food, yeah. Food first, important entertainment, one. and then we'll show you some of the ship. Um, and, and we'll drop in videos as we're going along, doing an over talk, um, so you can see the ship and the lounges and theatres and everything like that. So, so I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so here we go. So the most important part of any cruise, well, it's important to me, <laughs> food. <Yeah. laughs> We went on a cruise in the summer and I put a few pounds on and I've just come off this cruise and there's a few more pounds on so something seriously needs to happen and it's called the gym. But anyway, we'll go to that later. So we'll start with the main dining room. The main dining room is on deck four. Um, it's a really elegant area, um, beautifully appointed, chandeliers on the ceiling. Um, they do breakfast at sea on sea days, um, which is it nine o'clock? It's nine o'clock. It's finishes nine, at yeah, nine o'clock. No, it's, so it's quite early. Made, it's a bit early for us. We only made it so twice. So we used to go to breakfast in the colonnade. Um, but we did do it a couple of times and it was very elegant. You can sit by the window and look out to the sea and, uh, and they serve you. You know, waiter service, beautiful. Um, but the most amazing is the dinners. We absolutely enjoyed going down to the main dining room and actually it's probably our favourite eating place. Oh gosh, yeah. Dining venue on the so, ship. I think so, yeah. It really is an affair. It's lovely. Um, and how many courses? Oh, crumbs. Every night they've got a different menu, um, which is all accessed, uh, can be accessed via the app and the, and the, um, on the, on the source, newspaper yeah. and everything that they give you. <clears throat> um, but beautiful soups and starters, 
uh, the chef would go ashore and bring um, things from the local market on and, and he'd... Yeah, uh, he'd like in Ho Chi Minh City, he was, we saw him at the market and he was buying all the fruit off the stall and it was lovely. Then they set up a little Vietnam corner, for example, or yeah, yeah. seasonal fruits from the destinations <laughs> we've been lovely. to. It's lovely, yeah, the effort they go to and the touches that they But do. the menu in the evening, um, so you've got a selection of starters and there's always a, a classic menu which is set. So things like a prawn cocktail or a steak or uh, um, lamb chops, things like that. So if there's nothing on the, the daily selections, you can just go off the classic menu. Um, but the food quality is amazing. Service is first class. Um, and the wine selection is great uh, throughout the ship. W uh, all t obviously, it's ultra all-inclusive at all times. Um, but the wine is about 18 wines. 18, 18 different types of wine, um, including champagne, is on tap. One I picked from my cabin that they gave to us. <laughs> well, but, that was a um, gift. <laughs> yeah, it was a gift from Seabourn. So thank you, Seabourn. Um, but yeah, so that's on tap. 24-7, so yeah, um, it really is very, amazing. very nice. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But the food is really, really exquisite in there and uh, so much selection every day. And it changes, and we were on for a month. Um, I, don't, I don't think it even repeated, you know. Yeah. It's just every day yeah, there's something clever, different to choose it. from. But yeah, it's a very nice, elegant area. And, um, the, next, you've got the Colonnade, um, and that's a buffet restaurant. So we, um, we tend to go there a lot for breakfast mm. in the mornings. Um, but again, although it's buffet, they, they do have a waiter, a, a menu there for waiter service. So to have your eggs or however you want it or yeah. poached or... Um, it's a fruit selection. Um, and then there's uh, all the pastries and breads and salmon and yeah. everything like that. And again, you've got all the berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, um, as well as the, the local fruits. Yeah, it was wonderful because as we went into Ho Chi Minh and places like that, we were bringing on rambutans, long gongs, all the local mangosteens, fruits. Mangosteens. Um, mangosteens, beautiful, yeah. Mangos, so. yeah, it was fabulous. It was really lovely. lovely. And then they do um, eggs any way you like. Um, we, we, they'd even go and get us avocado because we like avocado with poached eggs. Um, and then they've got the various types of sausage, bacon, eggs, and it's pancakes, and pretty comprehensive, crates, to be yeah, honest with you. Really, really lovely. You can have caviar for breakfast if you want to, or <laughs> steaks. Yeah, and the colonnade is indoors, air conditioning, but they've also got an outdoor terrace on the back of the ship, which is really lovely. And in the evening, the colonnade switches to um, a waiter service venue, um, which is by it's, reservation. It's lovely, Certain isn't nights it? are by reservation. Yeah, and it's really quite an affair. Some they sort of theme it some of the nights, don't they? Most and um, nights, yeah. again, there is a regular, a regular menu, so you can get a steak in there or fish, um, and then sort of a theme. But there's, it's a lovely out the back of the ship. Um, you can sit outside, so it's it's, it's just a there's nice a sailing along and little, have a lovely um, meal. Little less More, formal, isn't it? Than less they, formal just and magical. Um, as I say, a themed evening. So it's basically one night, for example, they had. Um, short rib night was it or uh, yeah it's a, something like that so that's that's basically what you're having to eat um but they did have alternatives if you didn't want to go with the uh what it was we personally ate in the di main dining room most evenings just, we just the... love the formality of that and that's... an amazing food down there it's just lovely and of course we get to know our staff and everything but that's great if you've been out and they've had a long day ashore on a tour then um that's ideal and i say it's yeah. magical just sitting out um under the stars on the back of the ship there Breakfast went um, on till half past 10? Yeah, 10.30. Was it 10.30 or 10? Mm, I might have been 10, actually. I think it's 10. It is 10. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Breakfast went on till 10 o'clock. So, um, yeah. If you miss that, then you can get room service, 24 hours a day, uh, room service menu. Um, and then you can have your breakfast, hook outside the door. Um, uh, by cards, by which card you can take and, what you like, put it outside yeah. in the evening before you go to bed. And it will arrive at the time you, you stay. In the morning they'll deliver it. Um, but they... I mean, room service, we'll come to room service in a minute, actually. Yeah. So, um, going on next, uh, so Colonnade's a lovely, um, lovely venue. Uh, Keller Grill, which is one oh. of our favourites. It's amazing. Um, it's the best. Um, we were lucky to go there sort of three or four times. Normally, it's sort of once a week that you, you can get a reservation there, but it is just truly fabulous. Thomas um, Keller is a, a famous American chef. Literally in charged. England, in the UK, we don't really know him. <laughs> um, but obviously, any American viewers... Uh, who are watching this will know exactly who he is straight away. Um, the only thing we'd say, and our friends say this, not that it bothers us, we've been on going on Seymour for 10 years and the menu's never changed once in 10 years. It's the, exactly the same food, but it's amazing food. And uh, I suppose part of it is uh, that 
if, I'll have to correct we... you there because I think Thomas oh. Keller only came on sort of about six years six years ago was introduced to Seaborn. So I think Oh right. Yeah. So prior the menu's to only that, been set yeah, for so six it's years. only yeah, okay, sorry, so it's, sorry, I didn't it's only been set for six I'm years. I might have five or six, I'm not sure, but right. yeah. But okay. but the thing is we know what the menu is, so when we're look, when we've booked and we're getting on the ship, we're quite excited because the the food's delicious and there's a oh, lovely it. lobster thermidor. There's a fabulous chowder on there. So our mouths are watering for that. They exactly. are right this minute. Actually. And because you can only have it like once or twice in the cruise, it's like, yeah, never tire of it. Yeah. yeah and fabulous. I think it's, if it's a set menu like that and if it didn't change, if it changed, obviously people would want to eat there more often. But because it's a set menu, so it's quite clever, really. Yeah. Um, but it's a lovely area. It's larger than the smaller ships on the Encore class ships. And, and it's got a beautiful bar you can sit in. And they've got a pianist or a guitar before dinner. And then, you, and then you have to book, it's reservation only, and you do need to make the reservation as soon as possible when you get on board. Um, and then they take you through to the tables and it's a real affair. It's like it, being in a luxury five-star restaurant. You know, you it's, see well, our photos, it, oh, it's lovely, really, really lovely. Yeah, it's really, yeah I'm going to drop, yeah. oh, as we're talking it, I'm dropping in the photos of it for we to have a look. But it's a real, we love going there, we absolutely love it. So, um, so that's Keller Grill. Uh, the patio, which is in by the swimming pool in the centre of the ship. Um, now the patio, they do breakfast. This is a new thing. It's like healthy, uh, healthy sort of breakfast there in the morning. So uh, with the freshly squeezed juices. Mm. Um, but yeah, healthy, healthy start. So you can sit outside in the fresh air rather than go into the colonnade buffet. Um, but we never mm. went there, did we? We always tended no. to go either room service or to the colonnade. Um, but it was nice, nice area to sit in the patio. And then lunchtime, uh, it, it it becomes the, the grill and the patio. So amazing burgers. Um, they usually got a fish of the day that they're cooking on the on the grill there, and salads. Um, minute steaks. So and minute steaks. Like yeah, wonderful chips, aren't they? To die for. <gasps> uh, they are one of their signatures. Rice fried parmesan chips. And rice they fried. Are fried. Rice fried. <laughs> That's yeah. a mouthful. Rice. Parmesan fries, and they are—they are the best in the world. They delicious. really are. Yeah, not good for the waistline, but um, <laughs> delicious. Really lovely. Really lovely. Um, so, so they do lunch, and it's quite an informal affair. And there's laid out on the side there is salad bar. Um, oh, I don't know, uh, satay sticks or whatever the theme is of the day. Um, so, so it's quite nice. If you don't want to go in the colonnade, you can just eat informally outside, which is nice. And, um, and in, yeah, evening, in the evening, it becomes Earth and Ocean. Um, Again, under the stars, outside, and a uh, lovely, lovely set menu that has yeah. changed, doesn't it? It's it changes yeah. all the time, the menu, it's nice. but it's limited. It's only about three or four starters or three or four main courses and a couple of desserts. Um, but what they do is fabulous. The food's really, really oh, good. Incredible. It's delicious. Yeah. They do, um, that's usually fish or, or short rib or a pasta. Or, or sort of spanish um, type sort of. Or a spanish yeah. theme. And then baked camembert. Oh God! I mean, talk about <laughs> weight gain. But no, it's very good. Earth and Ocean's very nice, in, and it's very informal. You can sit out there, and it's lovely when you're cruising along, and it's warm. Say in the in the Asia where we were, and it's thirty degrees. You know, sit outside is it's lovely, and they've got candles on the tables, and it's really really, really nice. Really good. Special. <laughs> um, so they've got sushi restaurant, which is on the big ships, not on the small ships. Um, and that is basically what it says. It's a sushi, a sushi menu. Um, so as it's, it's open most lunch times, or certainly is on sea days, and um, and then in the evenings and then as in the well. Evening. It's very popular uh, actually. And it's lovely inside. The presentation of the restaurant's really really nice, and um, excellent food in there as well. Sushi. So, uh, and then finally, uh, room service. Fantastic. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You could stay in your cabin for the whole cruise. Well, we were yeah, a little bit under the weather for a few days and um, had to have room service. And there was no complaints there. Yeah, certainly yeah, took the sting out of feeling a little bit under the weather. They come in with a tray and the tablecloth, lay the table, all the napkins, um, glasses all out. Oh, God. It's, it's... Bottles of what? Yeah, whatever wine you want. And we're home now and, we're, and it's, and it's hard. hard. <laughs> yeah, after just... Christina's trying to make me do the same. No. <laughs> it's really hard. But room service yeah. is excellent. You've got a set menu of all things that you can have. And during dining room hours, you can order anything from the menu from the dining room as well. So <clears throat> it's brilliant, really. And if you just ring them up and ask them for whatever you want, they usually bring it anyway. There's oh, no okay. trouble, no. no trouble at all. Fantastic. They'll cater Amazing. for whatever your, your needs are. Yeah. 
know, and if you give them sort of enough notice, they'll even do special orders in, in the evening for, for meals as well. So, and finally, particular? that's all the dining venues, but the thing that stands out with Seaborn Cruises is the caviar. It's their signature, really. Um, that and their, their wonderful <laughs> champagne. Um, but yeah, caviar, you can order it anywhere, anytime, any, any, any place. And they, um, and they bring it with all the condiments, the egg and, oh, and, oh, it's lovely. and it's, um, Ossietra caviar. Um, and I was, we we're talking to one of the guys and obviously Beluga's the finest, Ossietra's second best. Very, very lovely. Well, we love it. And it was absolutely delicious. And they, and they'll deliver to your cabin or to, if you want it in the dining room or wherever you want it. They'll and then bring they it. have uh, their day signature days, um, caviar in the pool if you're at sea or caviar in the surf if you're in some paradise island so um, we're going to do that in a minute yeah. with the entertainment so. section so so that's a rundown of all the restaurants and we've dropped all the pictures into you've seen but amazing food really five-star dining it's just incredible and we love it oh. but the weight gain is an issue <laughs> so, well now we're, we're back and we'll have to so on to the entertainment oh, next <laughs> So moving on to entertainment, um, I think this, this cruise has been some of the best we've ever, ever had. Uh, we had a fantastic cruise director and um, assistant cruise director, Matt and Lula. Amazing. They were fabulous, yeah, they weren't were they? Such really, nice people. they were, yeah, really They bounced off each other. They were fabulous. Um, so we, we've clumped everything together in, in entertainment, including caviar and the surf, um, because obviously the cruise director played a huge part in to, to to making that a magical day, all the crew did. Um, but that's magical, and you'll see our photos drop into there. Um, yeah. Basically, the ship pulled into uh, uh, Cokehood. Uh, we were tendered off of Cokehood, which is an island uh, off of um, Trat in Thailand, and it's just. It's well, we've been paradise. a few times. The water is it's like our favourite place in the world. Actually, you can see pictures of this on our Instagram channel, Posh Travel Blog. It's got the red carpet on the boardwalk going oh. down. And then they take you down to the, the most amazing beach. It's a fabulous beach. And, um, um, and the crew, they, they, they arrive early in the morning and they take the whole of the ship, all the, the china crockery, um, the, the, the napkins, the tablecloths, the, the towels. And they work so hard. Uh, and then they take all of the the food ashore from the ship as well and do this massive barbecue really they set, barbecue. Up and set up an open bar with all the drinks and champagne and hell it, absolute hell it's, on earth it's, it's the <laughs> most amazing day ever but the best it really part, is. at 12 o'clock the siren goes the boat comes and there's the big tin of caviar with and more of this more champagne <laughs> It's, it's, a, just, it's really a special it's, day. It's, it's flowing. If, if, that, I, that one day makes the whole cruise, that two week extra cruise around there, to, is the best day. Yeah. It just makes that whole cruise worthwhile. And you're just standing up to your waist in the sea with a glass of this oh. and caviar on the back of your hand. And oh my That's gosh, amazing. it's heaven on earth. It That's really one is. of their signature events. Yeah. And Steve one are very good at them, actually. Um, I mean, they do another one on board. Uh, the ship called Galley Market. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it, as well? They throw really the is. doors open to the galley um, and then they just lay out a banquet, which is incredible. And it's just, it's an experience to go into the galleys of, uh, you know, the kitchens of the, of the ship and you have to scrub up, you know, your hands and um, sanitise and, and then you go through and the chefs are there. But, oh, the work and the effort. That... Lobster, prawns, mussels. Huge cheese it. with They've pasta going in it and, and joints and it's just obscene really. My foodie. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It just gets oh. worse. I, I, yeah. <laughs> but I uh, know it's, it's really excellent and it's a real special day. Um, and then they're serving you drinks and then the dessert counter and the baked Alaska. Well, oh, I won't mention it. It's just best. amazing. But that's really a really is. nice day. And if you're on board and they're doing that, absolutely yeah. you must. I think during COVID just they stopped doing it because obviously the health reasons, the but kitchens. now it's all back on again yeah. so which is great and it's usually it's on a sea day and um it's just lovely yeah just really go down there and great. have a leisurely lunch again drinks are flowing so that's like a signature event and another signature event they do is the epicurean evening and they set tents up mm, uh, oh, tents Mar uh, like small marquees around the deck and they're serving once again caviar and, and other tasty and mortals. And, and, and yeah, and they're coming around yeah. with trays of champagne and cocktails and, and you've got music yeah, and usually, oh, there was an opera singer, they had an opera night, didn't they? Which was yeah, fabulous. Because the um entertainers were really good and 
fabulous voices and there was opera Andrea singers Pichelli and everything. Andrea and Sarah Brightman type That was amazing. Really lovely. Yeah, really yeah. good. Really yeah, really, really good. Um, new thing that they've introduced, which we, we really loved, I think most people did actually, was a DJ came on, lunchtime-ish, really having your lunch, and played DJ music. It was just modern. Not, yeah, but really not, not in your face loud. No. It was just really nice. People and you, and you kind of wanted to dance. And, and, and it's really moved, I think, Seabourn. Well done, Seattle, because it's like... Yeah, because it was a bit tired, yeah. to be honest. The entertainment was always... Well, dare I say, they always playing Build Me a Buttercup and it was just a bit repetitive. Yeah, there was just... um, and we did speak to the cruise directors over the years and said, oh God, can't it just be brought up a bit? Yeah. But um, now it seems to have been and it's great, isn't it? Fan fantastic, yeah. Mm. So really, really, really good. Really um, and that goes on to the club as well. I mean, uh, they had a really great band in the club and it was all eras of music. It wasn't just old music. It was modern stuff as well, which everybody loves. And, up dancing, and and I'm when, happy, and all that. Yeah, it's great, when the, you know? yeah, when the band had a break, then this DJ would come on He'd as well on. and play requests. You know, we loved it. Oh, yeah, we really so loved it, it. Was... and 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 it was busy. So quite a lot of people yeah. loved it. And other people we spoke to, regular cruisers, said, "Oh, it's great. It's really we're really enjoying it." You know, so um, yeah. so that was the club, and they've got the casino there as well. Not that we went in the casino, but it's a small casino um, with a couple of tables, and I just dropping some pictures in so you can see that. So. Um, We've got the theatre. Um, oh, the theatre, yeah. obviously, they do a show every night and they brought guest people on, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and, uh, and then they've got obviously their own entertainers dance troupe on board, Matt Heads. Um, so. And then on a sea day, they'd turn it into a cinema, have a movie, um, and then there was lectures on the ports that we were oh, pulling absolutely. into. Port um, lectures and things. So so. In there. There's a lovely theatre, really nice. Um, a nice seating area and yeah there. you can see the pictures now service. um but this, yeah really really good um and then our favorite bar our um, favorite definitely and same wise observation bar on deck 11 right at the front of the ship and yeah, deck um, 11. we were on deck 11 actually so that was really good it's lovely it's got a great big circular bar um we can sit sit around and then there's chairs all around but it's just got such a good 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 vibe in there it really is um such a good atmosphere. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, there was a duo on the they were English, um, and they were a really nice couple. John and, and Josie, they were amazing. And they'd sing requests and everything. Yeah, it was really, really nice to sit up there and listen to them before dinner, and then after back dinner after they'd, dinner. they'd play until late, and then we'd have a guitarist come on at the end as oh, well. She was, she was incredible. Really good she? entertainment this time. Um, the best actually that we've ever. had. Yeah. On all the years we've been yeah. on, really, really yeah. good. Well, really enjoyed really. it. Yeah, really. So well done, Seaborn. It was, it was fantastic. And I forgot to mention on the food section, uh, the observation bar turns into afternoon tea. Oh, doesn't gosh, it? Yes. Yeah, we yeah. should have mentioned that earlier. Sorry about that. If you're still watching, um, but they do a fabulous afternoon oh, it tea. It really is. Yeah, amazing. All the uh, it was very English with the um, sandwiches with the crust removed and the scones and, and all very and nice. And the pianist yeah. is playing and uh, all the different. Uh, Teas, twinings, teas, and uh, yes, very. Uh, it's lovely, and they even have little um, egg timers, so you can have your tea light, medium, or dark. Yeah, but, yeah, it's very nice. But remember to put your little pinky out when you're having it. <laughs> That's it, and um, I think we we didn't do it too often because again, no, because just... you got fat enough. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> it was, it was yeah. really you must go. It's amazing, yeah. and the pianist in the background as well, very elegant, very you know, you pay a fortune to go to a hotel and have that. It, it, yeah. And actually, we cruised the day we did it. We were cruising out of Ho Chi Minh City down the river, fifty miles down to the South China, China Sea, and it was just magical, wasn't it? It was. Oh, yeah, it was the brilliant. setting just trickling along down the river oh, over this great. amazing scenery with, yeah, scones and clotted cream in hand. Yeah, that was really, that really was a, a day to remember. It was fabulous. Really good. Together. So they've got some amazing. Finally, the Keller Grill Bar. As we mentioned earlier, the Keller Grill restaurant, and before dinner, they've got a pianist or yeah. things. Nice anyone to anyone can go but into can that, go that bar, regardless of whether you're eating in the Keller Grill. Um, so, and the pianist yes, yeah. there is, is great, and she sings, and oh, she it's was amazing. Wasn't Entertainment, she? very good this time. Yeah. Nice mix of old and new, some fabulous signature events, as always, and caviar on a surf, amazing. So, Fantastic. now we're going to move on, and um, we're going to touch on the cabins next, or? or? Or well, or just we have done. I'm gonna say, now we're gonna move on to the rest of the ship, so okay. we'll probably drop into the cabin there. All right, yeah. so, all right. Cheers. So, before we carry on with the rest of the ship, actually, we're just going to quickly drop in here um, hints and tips, just some things that we think you might want to know um, before we continue. Um, so, the first thing is obviously gratuities, which a lot of people ask about, and um, 
on this cruise, gratuities are included and they're not respect, expected nor required, but... Um, yeah, if, it, if you've had someone that particularly looked after you, then we obviously just reward that person individually. Yeah. But it really is, it's not expected and it's just personal, personal choice. So there's yeah. no, no we, pressure there, but... Um, we tipped our cabin staff, there's two girls who were brilliant. And we tipped our um, uh, bar, the, one of the bar, couple of the bar people, um, and in the dining room, the girl that waited on us most evenings. So we gave her not huge sums, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, there is a thing called uh, we. I mean, we gave about fifty dollars to each of them, to each one just of to them. say thank you, um, and they were over the moon with that. Um, but I was on Seaborn Friends and Family, some a Facebook app that we follow. Uh, there's quite a big debate about it going on, and I think the thing is. Um, there's a there's a fund at the uh, the front desk at the um, Seaborn Square. Square where you can go and put money in and it goes to all the staff. So it's shared evenly a party, amongst all the crew. Personally, personally, we just like to give to the people that. I mean, obviously, there's no tips are expected. It's or all included in your fare. They're but all getting it, paid just a few, decent salary yeah. with Seaborn, so it's just nice to reward the people that. That's how we matter. feel anyway. So. Yeah, it's just a um, thing. But you don't have to if you don't want to. But obviously, that's something that we do. Yeah. Um, they have an amazing um, loyalty um, club uh, on board. So the more times you've been on, the more benefits that you can uh, accumulate. And they, they do reward nicely. And we've obviously been going for a number of years, so we've built up to a platinum level. But So we get laundry included, or so two bags per week. Per uh, once you get to Diamond, it's unlimited laundry. 20% um, off our wine specialty yeah. wines if you decide to upgrade your wine from what's yeah, included. You can go to a higher category. Of, varieties of wines um top seller wine so you can up upgrade and pay and then you get 20 percent discount or 25 depending on what what level, level of membership you are but i think um, it starts silver gold platinum diamond and diamond, and diamond elite. elite yeah but you um, have to be on an awful long yeah. time and, and when you get that you really do get some lovely yeah. and the more nights you've been on you accumulate and they give you a free week as well so yes. our friends have yeah. just uh, just, just had a free week free which week, is so. really good you can either take a free week or you can store it up and have a fortnight um, but we, yeah, so oh, I think a, we're just about approaching yeah, the three weeks. It's a lovely. really good loyalty really reward good scheme. You know, they're one, yeah. of, the, one of the better uh, cruise companies. Um, the other thing I, I just, I love is their, their products. So don't, don't, there's really no need to bring any um, toiletries with you. Uh, everything's molten brown, uh, the bath and shower gel, um, shampoo and conditioner and body lotion. Just happened to take these ones out of the cabin. Well, I had to show you, didn't I? So, uh, and the, of course, the, for purposes uh, the, such as this. The smell is divine. It's their own signature. So Molten Brown make it exclusively for Seaborn. So it's their own own smell. You won't smell it anywhere else. And it is just, just As soon divine, as you smell yeah. that, you're back on the oh, ship. I've just nice. got to do it. I have just got to smell that. Oh, Lovely. it's wonderful. I don't know if I pump it through the air conditioning, maybe, because it's just my clothes smell of it, everything yeah, when I come lovely. home, and it's, it's, it's lovely. Just so you don't need to bring any shampoo, conditioner, body wash, anything like that, because it's, to buy this stuff in the shops, it's probably for that tub there, it's probably about £30 or, I don't yeah. know, $40, so I don't know. it's really so. lovely, lovely products. It's, 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 yeah. it, you feel really pampered there, and even their dressing gowns are luxurious. If I could bring those home, I would, but, um, and this, they're, they're Slippers, I had to bring these. Have you to nicked show everything you as well. out of the cabin? <laughs> <laughs> I had to show you. These are the best slippers anywhere, of any five star hotel, anything. Just look at them. They are so thick. And well, it's just like putting your foot into a, a marshmallow. It really is. It's a five wonderful. star cruise yeah. and everything's five star, including all of this. <laughs> yeah, it is just. <laughs> and also, sumptuous. even in your cabin, they give you. Actually, going on to cabins, just quickly. We've put a veranda suite on the internet. We've put the penthouse suite on the internet that we were in. So you can see it on our channel, the Posh Travel Vlog. You can see it on our channel and if you want to have a good look on there. But we won't go over the cabins now. No, because um, it's quite extensive, isn't it? But they there, do so. put two bottles of spirits in your cabin as well, two. whatever you choose. So Top top shelf, whatever your yeah. preference is. So, so um, it's really good. Yeah, so um, I think that's it for hints and tips. I don't think there's anything else, is there? We did... We did, um, from, we're just going to touch on Seaborn Square in a minute, but one day we went on a beach tour and they actually packed us up a picnic in a basket with wine and everything. So yeah. that's another thing you can do. Yeah, they if, even if put the buffalo opener in the service. basket as well, didn't they? It was just, yeah. Fabulous. Was, we was had lovely, such yeah. a good day, anyway. Yeah. So I think that covers hints and tips. And uh, we'll move on to the rest of the ship. 
Okay, so now we'll move on to the rest of the ship, just things that we haven't covered so far, just um, points of interest. Um, so we'll begin with deck five. Um, yeah, at deck five, obviously you've got the club, which is at the back of the ship. And um, outside the back of the club, uh, you have a lovely sunbathing area there with really comfortable sunbeds, a towel station and a mini sort of bar. You can help yourself to sodas and beers. And um, just a lovely place to, uh, to, to sunbathe if you want to get away from the crowds not that it's ever crowded but it's over the wake of the ship um got a lo lovely little sort of plunge swimming pool and two uh, jacuzzis and they've got refreshments and um, things yeah and then there's a bar <laughs> service from the from the club that starts about midday yeah, a nice so, little spot there I'm yeah thinking. outdoor showers and uh, nice changing facilities there as well um, um, so, so, so um, deck seven, uh, Seabourn Square, which is the hub of the ship, really. It is. That's um, sort of where the main kind of reception area is. Um, so if you've got any problems or questions, then that's where you go. You check your bill. Well, you can do that on the yeah. television anyway. But future cruise desk is there. Uh, there's a, an amazing coffee shop there, isn't there? Um, serving wonderful. They do sandwiches muffins and things at breakfast and coffees, and then during the day they do sandwiches and cakes and things like that. Um, there's a little library section, and out the back of Deck 7, um, Seaborn Square, there's a nice seating area if you want to read a book in comfort. Or, and yeah. there's also where the shop is on Deck Yeah, there's, there's a lovely, lovely jewellery shop there, um, and they have the pre-owned Rolex watches or designer watches, so we didn't buy really one nice of those. idea. No. <laughs> and uh, they do the uh, perfumes, uh, yeah, all they've... other manner of things. It's pretty well stocked, and... yeah, with nice, nice products in the shop. Yeah, so that's on Deck 7. Um, at the front of Deck 7, if you go all the way to the other end of the ship, uh, there's a whirlpool area, just a whirlpool with a few sunbeds round, and that looks over the bow of the ship there, so really yeah. quiet. No one's ever goes there, to be honest with you. There's a little bit of shade, um, but if you just want to escape again, then that's a good place to go. Um, then the main pool on, is on Deck 9. Um, that's it's a, got plenty of sunbeds around. And that's sort of where the, um, where the patio grill is there, isn't it? And you've got a lovely bar there as well with stalls. But there's a fantastic bar service uh, coming around all the time. Uh, Bringing drinks or and, cold towels, the, fruit sticks, things like that, quite luxurious. Jacuzzis there as well. And um, yeah, it's, it's very Yeah, well and there's shade either side on deck nine, so you can get into the shade or you can lay in the sun. And they've got some of those clamshell sunbeds as well, which are quite luxurious. And also there's sunbeds just up on deck 10 and up on deck 11 as well. There's various sunbathing yeah, areas. And another little bar on deck 10 as well. Mm. So, um, so you're never drinks. short of a drink. Absolutely not, no. <laughs> and they, as I say, they're coming around constantly. And deck 10, you've got a little bit of a, a walk around there. So if you want to get your steps in, um, yeah. burn some calories, you can. And going to the aft on deck 10, you come to the spa and the fitness center and the serene area. Yeah, um, lovely spa, really beautiful. I had my nails done there. About $120 for shellac nails, so it's a little bit pricey, but again, it was, it was it's a nice, nice expected experience. Expected on a cruise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd say beautiful spa. You'll see all the photos drop in of that. And, the and a serene area, which is, uh, I think it's like a little pool with... Yeah, it is, with comfortable beds. You can just, and you can just well, you If you're can waiting just for a massage or you've had a massage, you can Quiet use this zone area. Sort of thing. Um, um, and, and then you've got the gym, yes, uh, yeah. which we we only ventured into once, yeah, we didn't go twice, there too think, often, yeah. to be honest with you. Uh, but, uh, but they had a really good selection of the uh, uh, running machines, cross trainers, the bikes, uh, weights, a whole selection of weights, yeah. leg weights, uh, you know, um, lap pull downs, all those types of things. Yeah, and, there was um, and there's a guy in there, a gym, you, gym instructor you. in there, if you need yeah. help. And, and again, they did classes as well. Yes, they did. They had Pilates and yoga and. Uh, meditation, different classes. So if you looked at your Herald newspaper, uh, they would they would have classes yeah, going on so there. Which it's well nice. equipped, well equipped. Yeah, yes. and water and nice towels view. in there as well. You stand Lovely on the view. running machines yeah. and look out to the view. It's amazing. Yeah, we did actually go in the day. We went up the Mekong River and uh, yeah. that was lovely. Yeah, it's a ship turn. We weren't running there. We were walking. No. We'll have a... <laughs> Don't want to be too energetic on holiday. No. Um, finally, on deck 12 um, is the retreat, which is a private cabana sunbathing area. Yeah, um, um, you can. It's, it's lovely. We didn't. We had obviously had a good look look round it. It's it's in excess of two hundred. It's expensive. I think it's two hundred and fifty, two hundred to two fifty dollars for the day on a sea day, and about one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty dollars on a on a port day. day. Um, but you get your own private cabana with very thick mattress, luxury beds, 
a flat screen TV, dining table for six, and they serve upgraded champagne, caviar, and, and a nice menu, lovely lunch, and just something really oh, special. Nice. If it's a special occasion, a birthday, or anniversary, and on a sea day of the ship's busy, then it might be quite nice to to do that. We'll for have a to treat. try it one of these days. Definitely. Yeah. But we were on deck eleven, and um, just out on deck eleven is this amazing little sunbeds with thick mattresses and cushions. Yeah. Don't have to pay a penny for those. I think they had so a little we jacuzzi in the, in the um, spa area as well, I know, just on a bar. A bar yeah, it's there, a nice area very... if you just want to escape off yeah. and just have a peaceful day and have luxury. luxury service, and... Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And you can order caviar there anywhere then, as usual. And just on the front of Deck 12, there's another sunbathing area. It's on the bow of the ship. There's no shade, but they have got some lovely, luxury, comfortable sunbeds. So if you want to go out and lay out and catch some rays, um, perfect place to go. Really so, is, um, but yeah. we had a wonderful cruise. Oh, it's been we always do on Seabourn. We love Seabourn. Amazing. Um, Wind's whipping up here. We're back in yeah, sunny Andalusia. We're back in Spain. Um, so um, thanks for watching. Yeah, really, really appreciate you watching um, and, and subscribing to our channel if you like what you see. Uh, we will be putting many more videos on of our adventures. And as Stuart said earlier, uh, we are on Facebook and Instagram, Trosh Travel Blog. Um, so it might give you some tips on what we do on these ports on on on, on the cruises so because yeah, uh, we, we tend to do we, our own thing when we go ashore yeah so, so rather um, than book the ship's excursions we do our own thing so it, it, yeah please yeah. that would be great so if you're if you going on this itinerary then it's be good yeah. to have a look at our instagram page see what we've got up to so, so and we really yeah. we really appreciate you following right. us thank you so much for thank watching. you All the you best. can press the subscribe button down there Thumbs and uh, we'll see you again thank you bye, bye.